All right, so now that we're done with auto leveling the printer and we have the build surface installed, we can move on to loading the filament and doing our first test prints. This printer came with a one kilogram roll of PLA, it's white PLA, and the way that it ships, the end is tucked into the roll here, so you have to pull that out. And because this is bent like that, you just wanna snip off the end. Included are these side cutters, so you're just gonna snip the end off at a slight angle which will help that feed into the extruder. So we're gonna take our roll of PLA and we'll put it up in the spool holder up here. And now we're gonna take the end of the filament here and you can see it has a natural curve from being on the roll. So we're just gonna straighten that out a little bit just to get that fed in. We're gonna put it into this little white hole on top and you have this lever on the side of the extruder motor that can be pressed in and take the tension off the wheels. So you're just going to push that, push it down in until you feel like you have it down into the Bowden tube. And then now we can move on to feeding it the rest of the way through the controls on the touch panel. So now with the extruder preheated to 200 degrees, we can go into the tools, choose change, and we'll just choose load. And confirm. You can see it feeding the filament. And you should start to see filament come out of the end of the extruder as well. The first print I'm going to print on this printer is a test print that was included with the printer on the SD card. And I'm assuming that this was sliced in Cura because there is a video on how to use this printer with Cura as well as a config file to import to set this up specifically for this printer. Um, now something that you want to make sure is I've always included the G29 auto level code at the start of a print and that is not necessary with this because we did that auto level and it stored that in the firmware and now with this surface on um, there's really no way for it to use the auto level feature that it has built in. So with the SD card installed we're going to go to printing, FL Sun, model, and it looks like it's a vase. So we'll go ahead and choose that and then confirm. So here we have the final print. This is a vase. It's a very solid piece. It took about seven and a half hours to print. And I don't know the specific layer height and print speed, but I, I'm assuming I could print a lot faster with the Delta style printer. So I do own a couple of other 3D printers and this one by far has been the easiest to set up and start printing. Being able to just go into the SD card and print off a test print and have it just work is really nice. No fine tuning or anything like that. In a future video, I do plan on setting up this printer in Cura and showing you how to slice a model using the configurations for this printer. And I also would like to 
do some videos on printing flexible material, printing ABS with an enclosure of some sort, and I also plan on doing some bigger projects, like I would like to print a violin, a working violin. So that's something I have down the road. So if you would like to see that and more with this, then please subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you.